Bonjour. I'm Karen. I'm Tim. Welcome to this episode of Living a French Life. Last episode, we talked all about holding things together. But this episode, we are going to knock down some walls. We're also today going to take a look at Karen unwrapping the finally arrived Clay de Tyrone. They're fabulous. <laughs> I'm going to knock some more bricks out of the con too, and I'll explain why. And we're also going to show you some tips on how to remove trim around your old doorways so that you can use them again later. Yes, we've already earmarked the doors we have taken off for our new bathroom door and a closet door. Also remember to stick around to the end of the video because that's where we put the outtakes. So give that like button a boot and let's go knock down a wall. Before we get to that wall, we need to remove the trim and the doors. Today's job is I'm going to take the trim off around these doors, take the doors down in preparation for taking the wall down. Now the important thing to remember is my three rules, which are think it through, take your time, use the right tools. In this case, I've looked all the way around, I've seen the problems that I can run into with this. I know that there are very long nails in here, so I'm going to have to go really slow, hence the take your time, and use the right tools, these are them. I've got my uh, screwdriver set because you never know what you're going to come up against. Got the handy dandy flat bar, the always useful claw hammer, a utility knife, a nail puller, a pair of tongs that, you know, you never know when you're going to need those, and a French hammer, what they call a marteau. So, let's get at it. Okay. Okay, well, there it is. Here is our hinge. It's a half barrel hin pin hinge. Kind of goes right in there. Real easy to replace. And uh, we're excited. We're going to save these doors. We're going to be using them for upstairs uh, on the premier etage for the bathroom and the closet. They're going to be kind of bookended, so they'll, they'll match. They'll look nice. This door and the door that's on the other side. These are going to be my two primary tools to get the trim off. Nice flat bar, good claw hammer. Now we're going to want to go really slow because we're going to try and save this trim because we save everything. You never know when you're going to need it. I was able to get just a little bit of a lift under here with my hands. And you have to just go nice and slow because this old wood is brittle and it likes to split. But if you go nice and slow, the nails will come free. You don't have to get it all in one, one pull. It's a little dark in here today, sweetie. Uh, yeah, well, that is because we have the doors and windows closed because it's blowing up quite a storm out there. Oh my, they must have snow up on the mountain. It is cold. Again, just take your time. Old wood just wants to be gently coerced. We had intended to move this very large cabinet out of the way here <laughs> but we haven't quite gotten to that because it's extremely heavy and we don't know where to put it yeah because it's got some good qualities yeah it'll it'll get remade into a kitchen cabinet so right now it's still it's still staying in the kitchen okay <sighs> this one is being a little persnickety All of the wood in the house, the floors, the trim, the doors, it is a type of fir, a pine, but it's really, really strong, really heavy. 
I mean, each of the floorboards, I was surprised being that it was a fur that it, that they weighed, that they were so dense. Yeah, that's a, that is a quality of old wood that is not what you find in construction grade lumber nowadays. Um, it's now fast growing trees, so it's very wide spaces and that's why it makes it a little more um, susceptible to insect damage. Uh, this old stuff is so old, so tight grained that the termites and woodworm can't really get into it. All right, come on, baby. Yoo-hoo! All right. And that's how you take one off. Now, you'll notice I left all the nails in. And what we're going to do here is, instead of poking these through from this side out, I'm going to use a pair of vice grips and I'm going to pull them through. And what that will do is it will preserve the grain out here. When you poke these nails out this way, it has a tendency to push the old wood out. You don't want to do that. You want the wood to be, um, you want it to be pulled in so it's a little cleaner. So slow and easy. I am really, I'm really surprised by that. Well, you need that heavy steel, well, yeah. heavy iron, so that it'll hold things in place. Well, that makes sense, but I'm still a little surprised. Ooh, this is really nice plastic. <laughs> I bet we'll save that for something, too. <laughs> yes, always. I'm already thinking of little greenhouses for my tomato plants. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I guess they didn't have to really put a lot of padding around these, no. did they? <laughs> no. I mean, they are so heavy. I'm really not this weak. Crazy. It's like an unboxing video, honey. I'm telling you. Yeah, right. Some people do a Louis Vuitton bag. I do a clay detail. Right along that. We almost are going to be able to see one. <laughs> wow, that's awesome! Ooh. They're freaking freezing. <laughs> well, they're sitting out here in the house. Wow, there we go. Excellent. Yeah. And yeah, they're historically accurate for this style of house and the time period for the house. And while I would have liked something maybe a little bit more 
artsy. Um, I think this is, this is going to work really well. Okay, so my original thought was to just take the bricks out of the chimney down to the level of the floor uh, on the premier etage. But when I got down here, uh, I found something. So you can see, nice and up in here. But I came over here and I thought this was just a little too much movement. I don't know if you can see that, but it's, you know, it's not going anywhere. Same thing on this side. It's not going anywhere, but there's not really anything holding it up in place anymore. So what I would have to do is put some kind of a bracing up there to keep it in place. Uh, because, you know, it, it's not going to go anywhere now, but as we have seen from the walls in the house, over 400 years, things move. And the last thing I want is to put in an expensive new stove into the Cantu and then have uh, 10 years from now, a brick fall down on top of it and ruin it. So we don't want that. So what I'm gonna do instead is take the bricks out of the Cantu. I just uh, wanna go on record as saying that uh, I don't think this is a good idea. It's all that stuff up there. Oh my goodness. Look at that. I, I'm going to see if I, it's a little bit dark, but that is a century's worth of, of, well, dirt, soot, and, ah! Woo! And, um. Walnuts. Walnuts from the squirrels. <laughs> wow. It may be the gold treasure. Uh, I haven't found it yet. Okay. Wow. I. As you can see in the floor plan, there are a few walls inside the house, not too many, and we're going to remove them in order to create one big space. We could probably take this one down without causing any trouble with the exterior walls, but when you're talking about dangerously weakening the structure, probably isn't good enough. We'll wait until we install the clay de terrain before removing the large wall. These ones, however, are not supporting anything. They're barely supporting themselves, so I say, Up in. All right. All right, I'm recording. Yay, Karen! Not OSHA approved. <laughs> well. well, that's the end of that wall. <laughs> Woo! All right, next. Voila! Un peu difficile comme ça. Pourquoi? Parce que. Ah, uh, petite. Ça uh. <laughs> est maigre et je n'ai pas maigre. Ooh, listen to the wind. Je ne suis pas maigre. Oui, oui, oui. Listen to the wind. Okay. 
Here we go. Well, we're going to do this the hard way. Good video. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Look at that, honey. Well, I'll tell you what, that opens up the space rather nicely, it doesn't it? It does. Oh. Can you imagine? That's going to be our salon à manger. And eventually, this wall, the one that we're afraid to take down at the moment, is going to eventually go. And then this is where this stairs are is going to be all built in refrigerator and kitchen cabinets. A larder, thank you very oh, much. Oh, a larder. Okay, fine. Yeah, that looks great. All that's left now is uh, pick up and oh, haul yeah. to the dechettery, but uh, that's going to happen on uh, in a couple of days when uh, we have access to a trailer. It'll Thank you, Francis. That was a lot of work, but it was definitely satisfying, and we have something to show for it. Yes, I'm looking forward to the day when we actually start putting things together instead of demolishing. That's going to do it for this week's episode. Join us next time when Karen goes foraging. What are you foraging for? I'm foraging for a wreath for the front door. It's time the little house has a bit of Christmas. And I'm going to go make a visit to a bricolage. That's a French home improvement store. Kind of fun. So, s'il vous plaît, hit the like button, subscribe, ask us questions in the comments. We'll get back to them. And don't forget to stick around until the end for the bloopers. A tutela. I try, try to make it sound more conversational. Just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> Trying not to be such a goober. <laughs>